Um, I thought we did a really nice job tonight of our two main goals. Offense, offensively, the, just keep doing what we're doing. We'll get better with that. Defensively, rebound the basketball and keep them off the free throw line to a reasonable number. Uh, I thought if we did those two things, we'd have a great chance of winning. We, we did have a great chance. I know we ended up almost giving it away, which is a great lesson for us to learn. NBA games are never over. And you have to play the game a certain way. If you mess with the game, the game will mess with you. And uh, I thought we did that uh, a little bit, but we addressed it. And it's it's good to get a win. Uh, and you know, hopefully, we can learn the same lesson, uh, even even with the win uh, that that was out there in that game tonight. Hey, Luke. That final three four minutes aside, what did you think of the starters in in both halves? They they were they were. They were really good tonight. They were locked in. They were getting stops. They were getting out and running. They were moving the ball. Um, and you know, that's again, that's it's the second game in a row we've had a lot of assists in the first half, and then it's kind of stalled out in the second. But uh, that'll come with trust and with getting to know each other more. Um, but I thought they did a really nice job, uh, w you know, with their with their with their unit out there on the court. Anything stand out to you about that crunch time session as as Dallas is coming back? And well, it's it's why defense is so important. There's going to be nights where guys are tired or shots aren't going uh, down the stretch, and you have to be able to rely on your defense to win to win a game. And uh, you know that's that's why we're going to keep working on it. We're going to keep preaching it uh, until we get to that level that we can do it. Um, and I. The first and third quarters tonight defensively, I thought we were pretty darn good as well. Um, I thought we had two good quarters and then two pretty awful quarters. So uh, just about getting getting uh, better and better with those things. Uh, Coach right here. Um, season's still early, but once again, McGee is playing extremely well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, he he was huge for us again. I think 16, 15, we, we've been talking rebound and rebound and take pride in it. He went out and got 15 of them for us tonight. Uh, he had five blocks cleaning up a lot of the, the uh, mishaps we had on defense. And we talk about that. There's always going to be mishaps and we need to put out fires. Put them out and do it. Like Take pride in putting those out. Now we got to get the amount of mistakes down. Uh, but he he was he was uh, obviously huge for us in in his individual perform performance tonight. Luke, uh, down the stretch, there were a couple of possessions where um, the ball wasn't in LeBron's hands and went through Ingram a couple times. Um, do you like that? Is that something that was called? Yeah. Or yeah, no, yeah, we called that. Um, you know, part of what we're trying to do here is we know LeBron can win games, and it's important for us to win games. But we also know where we're trying to get to, we need other people that are going to step up and make plays. And Brandon had it rolling before his, his fifth foul. Um, and I had played Braun a lot of minutes in, in a row. Uh, I was planning on getting him back out, but the game just, it wasn't going for that. Uh, so, you know, I tried to call some timeouts to get, get him some rest, but we were also going to some other guys so he could you know, see, let them perform down the, the down the stretch and, and get a little bit of a, a break. We always want guys break and taking a break on offense, not on defense. Is that tough though? As I mean, you're sitting here at you know two and five going into this game. Um, the West is what it is, and and to still think kind of long game theory versus, you know, we just need to win one. Yeah, but that's what our that's what the game plan is, and it's important that we stick to it. We you know we said from the beginning it was going to take time and it's going to be tough, and we're you know. Uh, we have to know where we're headed and what our game plan is and how we're going to get there. And that is learning to play together, becoming a team, and uh, winning, but also continuing to, to grow some of the young talent. We play a lot of young players. Not a lot of teams uh, play as many as young guys as we do. Um, so we need to keep getting them better. Uh, Luke, I got two quick ones. One, uh, going off what Dan was asking, did you change – in terms of uh, what you were using LeBron with last game, where you, you kind of wanted him to finish quarters, I, mm -hmm. I think I think that yeah, change, so. we we changed that tonight, um, and it was I was I was planning on getting him out in the fourth for a little stretch, give him get him a little fresher to finish, but the the way the game went, uh, I just you know you know I, I, 
asked him if he needed one. He said he could finish it. So that was kind of the end decision with that. It just we, we needed him on the court tonight to, to get that win. And secondly, um, I know obviously JaVale did a lot of the, the rebounding work, but did you feel like the guards or overall you did better job gang rebounding? Did you see it? Yo, we did a much better job. Uh, I mean, we went, we went back to full high school fundamental basic rebounding drill today at shoot around where you, you know, you track the guy, you hit the guy, you put your ass in his knees and then you release to the ball. Um, but I think I think more so than that drill saying that that really made us a better rebounding team. It was just our guys. You know, they, they they're a competitive group. They want to win. Um, and they were more mindful tonight about our rebounding and they did a much better job. Yes, the guards doing which is part of why Javel gets 15 rebounds because everyone else is boxing out. Um, that's how Lamar used to steal all my rebounds. But it's, a, you know, it's the team thing. So as long as the, the, we do a good job rebounding, it's all good. Uh, <laughs> what do you like about Kuzma and LeBron at forwards, and what do you think affected Kuzma so much in the second half where he wasn't quite as a force for you guys? Well, Kuz, uh, I think he, he picking up those uh, those late fouls in the first. Um, but I thought Kuz was good tonight. I, I did. I thought uh, he, he, he made plays, and he, he's trying. He, I mean, he's, he's a second-year player. I mean, we're playing, these are big stakes, and he's he's proven he can score 37 on a given night. And we're asking him, yeah, that's great, but play within the team structure and make the right read and make the right pass and defend multiple people. So there's a lot going on. Um, and he's he's con uh, constantly trying to become, you know, that type of player for us. And so, you know, he, he'll have his moments, but I thought he was a big part of why we won tonight. Together at the forwards, at the four, yeah. as our, yeah, yeah, no, but the, I mean, the look at the court that was at the time. I mean, Dallas had four perimeter guys. I mean, I mean, Powell was their center, and uh, you know, and he's a very good player, but he's you know, how to he's six, eight, six, nine, and it, so that's just the way some games are gonna go, and we feel comfortable with that group with Kuz and, and Braun or even Josh Hart and Braun, uh, Josh Hart and Kuz, when is that small of a game? Uh, but obviously, whenever they went big, we try to have Javel in there. Luke, Luke, how, how far back were you thinking about this specific starting five? Is it something in the offseason you thought this length or I mean, or during the preseason? What, what were your what was your thinking? Yeah, we've yeah we've talked about it's in the preseason. This was one of the groups that we've discussed. Um, you know, just to be able to go six six and above. Uh, now our switching was awful tonight, but that that group um, has the ability uh, to be uh, a, a really good. You know, we, we don't want Chavelle doing it, but the one through four switching with Chavelle protecting our paint, uh, that group could be really can get really good at that. But it's you know it's something we've been talking about for a while.